Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we made it up to rank 24, the earliest I've ever hit that rank. So we're going to go over what's good, what's not good, all that good stuff. Guys, if you haven't already, appreciate it if you take a second to subscribe to the channel. Uh, i got some boxes in the background here. Got some more lights coming up. Um, so yeah, studio always seems to be a work in progress, but it's uh, definitely better than it was when I initially moved in. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I appreciate those of you that have been thrown in that coat check in the shop. We actually have some summer bundles. we got some summer sales in here, so we've got uh, two different resource bundles. If that's your thing, then uh, I appreciate it if you throw in the, a little, a little C-H-I-C, bang, 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 you used to go, bang, 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 bang. All right. Look at the, look at my trader tickets. I, I have a thousand and eighty, and it's <laughs> it goes on the next line. That looks so janky, um, but it's cool. It's cool. I got sixty four million gold. If you guys need some gold, hit me up. Um, so here it is, guys. Twenty four and three stars. This is uh, two seasons ago. Was it two seasons ago? Something like that. This is around where I finish. Isn't that crazy? Um, I don't know what is going on this season. I'm just hitting the right tech at the right time, and everything's kind of coming together for me. Um, so now we're going to get to 6ER uh, a lot faster than I had anticipated. So that's going to be good news. And let's just, uh, where do we start here? The base is the same. Um, yeah, so there's the base. If you, I mean, if you guys can, all the bases of 5ERs, they're basically the same, right? I like this one because it's tough to hit from the right ramp. Um, it takes a long time from the bottom. And it seems to slow Seekers down enough, um, you know, with the hot pot. But the reason that it's good is because I got DBD. That was our big push point. Um, that was the reason why we got to where we're at currently. And now we're just stopping everything and we're going to six. Okay, so we got our mechs today. We're going to get... Um, 6ER in three more chests, so tomorrow, um, well, tonight, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. I don't know if 6 in and of itself is a push point or if you need the building health, um, but I think it, it certainly won't be bad. But I think we want to go 6, building health, then critter launchers, then troop damage. Um, troop damage is going to be needed for sure, but I mean, it's one of those things, again, we're going to need all of it, right? So, especially over the course of the next few days, because... Um, right now you guys are probably starting to see six ERs because the people that didn't have heavy choppers are going six now, right? So that's going to be coming in the next few days. We'll go over how to hit them. Um, actually, I believe my, my boss fight was against a maxed out six and we were somehow able to beat him. Um, so we'll go over that and yeah, we've skipped everything else. I don't think you need it. Um, I don't think you need all this stuff. I think what I will do actually is I'll max out the med kit because we do use them all the time. I, I put them up to tick four, um, and I felt like that was helpful. I mean, we could max out shocks, but yeah, I don't know. We'll probably do shocks next. There's no reason not to, really. Um, <clears throat> so here is, uh, here's what we did, guys. So shout out to Mr. Boom. I faced him a couple times this season, but um, yeah, we'll go over the attacks in just a second, but check this out. Number six in Canada, under all the Commander Doom accounts and the heavy hitters up there, um, so that's definitely good company to, uh, to be in for sure. Um, then we go over here and I was just in the 50, so we moved down 151. Um, but that's pretty cool. We might have a shot at the top 50 this season. I am going to go for it guys. Of course. I mean, I go for it every season, right? I always try to get to the highest point that I can get. I just typically park earlier cause I don't think that I can get any higher, but this season that might be different. That might be different. Um, after six, we still have a ways to go. So, I mean, there's lots of season left to be played um, in just a couple weeks. We've got 70 hours. We've got, um, you know, lots of stuff to get to. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, let's go over the attacks. We'll show you the, uh, the boss fight here. And this is what got us up to rank 24, guys. So let's go over hitting 60 hours because I feel like this is going to be beneficial for, um, for everybody. So this guy is 60 hours. Without the laser beam, I want to take a quick look back at the tech tree and see where that laser beam is. It might be on the seeker path. I'm not sure. Um, no, it's on the 6ER path. Is it down here? Yeah, okay. So the the laser beam is deadly. That's a very good pickup. Um, 
I mean, then we can go this way. We've got some multi nodes. We've got a ton of mines. We've got Everspark. We've got Trupel. A lot of really strong things after six. So it looks like this guy's kind of a fresh six. So that kind of worked out in our favor. But this is the this is the most um, consistent way, at least I've found, to hit these bases. At first, when I was facing them, I figured I would drop from the bottom because you're just trying not to fizzle on these bases, right? Especially with the critter launchers, they really slow down the bombardiers. Um, so. Dropping from the bottom, I found, and I think I posted it yesterday or in yesterday's video, um, it just takes so long to get through the base, and they ended up fizzling that way. So this way seemed to work a lot better. Dropping them from the right, yeah, you lose a couple bombers on that right side to a mortar or a shock launcher or whatever. Um, but this way is great because you're only facing typically one critter launcher at a time. And that's the reason that when you drop them, you keep them kind of condensed. You don't drop across the whole landing because then it's just too many critter launchers to keep on top of and they're going to just uh, distract you to death. They're going to make you take way too long to get through. Um, and then what we're doing, we're not, you see we're not spamming our GB. We're not using critters. We're not using second wind. We're only using shock bombs for the critter launchers or we're using a little bit of extra GB um, if we need to, to keep our bombardiers alive. We throw in some critters there because that's just way too much value. That's three, six, nine, twelve mines that we can get in one um, for eight GB. We're going to make that trade every single day of the week. Now, this critter launcher does come up for a second, but we're right on top of it, right? So yeah, it's going to shoot a couple times, but we're going to make that trade off because we don't have a ton of GB. We've only got 50% GB bonus right now. Um, so then moving forward, what we want to do, again, Focus on those shock bombs. Shocking the critter launchers and everything else uh, with them. That seems to make the biggest difference because all the defenses are kind of clustered together. Um, once the critter launchers are down, if we zoom out here, you can see there's not that many defenses left at this point. So then we can focus on, you know, making sure we're on the right angle for the rocket launchers to get out of the way. Um, and we're using critter launchers, or sorry, critters to take out mines. Um, that was, I don't know if that was the right move to shock that boom cannon. That boom cannon always inevitably seems to wreck my life. Um, it's just the bombers get in the wrong way and it picks off like three or four of them and it ends up ruining the whole attack. Or it gets Kavan sometimes. So, I mean, if we can just shock it to keep it out of the way, then that's great. I was getting pretty nervous at this point because I think he was at two and I was at two. Um, and I was just waiting the whole time to see that two, one, zero. But... Um, it, it didn't end up coming, so we just simply, you know, just played it, uh, played it smart, played it safe. Now, you notice in this situation, okay, when there's, I, and I've, I find a, a lot of people make this mistake. So there's a machine gun there, there's a machine gun there, there's a rocket there, right? So we don't want to just let them free clear without flaring because they're going to take forever to go one by one. They're going to shoot a defense, stop their pause, shoot a defense, stop their pause, Shoot it, right? So we want to flare through this, but when can we flare through it? So we can hit the flamethrower, the rocket launcher, and the machine gun all in one shock, right? So basically, as soon as that first machine gun is down, we're all set and ready to go to flare. Okay, so we can, you know, obviously you wouldn't want to um, have them sit there for too long. And we can shock the heavies, you know, who cares? They're not doing any damage anyways, so we shock um, all of our troops together. Just allows a nice pocket for the bombardiers to sit into. And that's what gives us the good time. It's the little things like that that add up to give you a couple seconds. Um, and that is what we needed here. So I want to show Mr. Boom's hit real quick. I'll throw it in four speed because I am interested just to see what he did, if he screwed up or if we got lucky or what happened. So he's using heavies, bombardiers, and mechs. Okay, so he doesn't have heavy choppers, which is why he's 6 ER. So it's definitely a good move. I mean, the guy's in rank 23. He's, you know, top 50-ish, just like I am. Um... But definitely, the, the, uh, definitely a good move going to 60 yards. Um, but, you know, heavy choppers are definitely going to be better than mechs. But uh, I don't know if he accidentally flared there or what the plan was because he was looking pretty good up until that point. Maybe he, uh, maybe he was going to crush us. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so there it is, guys. Rank 24. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was wild. I've never been this high with this much time left in the season. Extended cruise. Let me know where you guys are at. Let me know your thoughts down below in the, the comment section. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like, find it interesting, entertaining, or for Catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Bang, bang.